What is up, everybody? I got a box of pennies here. I just cracked it open. I flipped it for enders. And I do see one ender right here. It's a 1940-something. So we got one for sure under. I had a 1959 right here. Faked me out for a second. But that's just a 59. So I only see the one under. Let's hunt this box. I'll bring you in when I find something. What's up, everybody? I'm bringing you back on the first roll. I just laid it out, and I see weed ears already. Let's see what we got. Oops. Helps if I flip it the right way. We got a 1955 out of Denver. First roll out of the box. I hope this is an awesome box. Looking good so far. We are still in the first roll. And we got another weedy. It was obverse up. Let's see if we can get it to focus a little better. We got a 1939. Is that a 39 or a 29? It's a 39 out of Philly. Awesome start to the box. Let's keep her going. All right, roll four. I'm bringing you back in. We got a foreign right here. It's Canadian. Oops. Never going to get the hang of that. 1984. A lot of old edges here, and there's a shiny one here. We got a proof? No, nope. I don't think so. Ooh, but look at that. Look at that 1960 Denver. Blinging. That thing is beautiful. I'd be adding that one to the book. All right, roll number 13. I may have gotten a little prematurely excited about how good this box is going to be because now it hasn't been very good at all. But we got Canadian number two right here. We're still stuck on two Wheaties. Now we got two Canadians. 1986. Good year. Good year. I've seen a shiny one here. Oh my gosh. We got another beautiful 1960 Denver. Check that out. That makes two and I actually got four really nice copper cents already. And two 2009s. All right, I missed it. We're still in roll 13. Well, first we'll do this one. This one has a 32 counter stamp on it. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. I think you can see it. 32 counter stamp. Doesn't really poke through that side at all. I don't know what that's all about. We got that. There's also a weedy back here. Weedy number three of the box. The last year weedy. 1958 Denver. I'm thinking somebody must have two, dumped a tube of 1960 Denvers. Because these things are all just beautiful. Well, if they did, I'll tube them back up and keep them for myself. Right at the end of roll 17, we're going to get our fourth weedy of the box. 1957, Denver. AU 1960D, number four. I can't believe somebody would throw these back in circulation. They're just all beautiful. I love these high relief copper scents when they're AU like that. Beautiful. Roll 22, we're going to get weedy. Number five, it is beat up. It's a 1946 Philly. But, weedy number five. Well, at least I'm not finding weedies. I'm finding something else cool. We got 1960D, almost uncirculated, number five. May be the best one of the bunch. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? It's beautiful. Add that to the pile they use. 
I'm pretty sure we got beautiful 1960 Denver number six right there. Yep, we sure do. That one's got a little scratch right there from his face, but still pretty snazzy. All right, everybody, we're up to that ender roll. It's 1940-something right there. So let's crack it open and take a look and see what we see. Maybe Mr. Enders got some friends and I put it on the wrong end. Oh, I can see something. It's not a weedy, but I see something. You got the weedy right here. 1948 Denver. That goes up there. And then right down here. Look at that. Another beautiful 1960 Denver. Thought I seen something else. What's this one? Nope. Nope. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Nope. Bring it back in when I find something else. Just laid out roll 29. And I see some weeders right here. Oops. Got a 1944 Philly, I do believe. Yep. 1944 Philly. Wheat scent number seven, two, four, six, seven. Roll 33. We got wheat scent number eight. It's ugly. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get a date off of that. Maybe it's a 57? I don't know. Hold on. Let me see if I can clean that up a little bit. Check it out with the loop. Yep. It's a 1957. I got it a little cleaner. Not much, but I think you can kind of see it now. But it's a weedy, weedy number eight. I think I see a shiny back here. No, oh, it's a 59. Not quite as nice as the 60s I was finding, but I've been adding those up. I haven't been recording all those, but we got a lot of them so far. Roll 44, we got Canadian number three. 1981. Add that up here to the fines. I'm still finding a few of them. 1960 Denver's. Be nice if we found a few more Wheaties. Alright, everybody. We are done with that box of pennies. Let's get rid of that. Here's what we got for the box. Oh, let's see here. We got two, four, six, seven 2009s. Three foreigns, all three Canadians. Counter stamped 32 penny. I didn't look at what year it was. Let's see what year it is. It is uh, 89. Okay. We got eight wheat pennies. Oldest one being the 39 we found in the first roll. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to call them uncirculated. Aside from that one. That one's got a little scratch on it. All the rest of them are like perfectly brand new. Oh, right out of the mint packaging. 1960 Denver's. Can't say that I've had that before. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to check them for errors. And I'll continue this video if I do find anything. And then we had three other AU-ish. But 59 does have a little stuff on it. We got a 66 and a 74. So, that was this box of pennies I did this morning when I should have been sleeping because I have to work tonight. That's alright. We can sleep when we're dead. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the hunt.